Weighing in at a combined weight of 500 pounds, Fit Mike Mitchell, the moon, Johnny Moran, the mighty This is the rematch that we've been waiting for. The Mighty Militia was robbed in some way. Their tag championships and I'm, I only see, it appears like there's only John Moran and where, where's Mike Mitchell? Where is Sonny tonight? John Moran, clearly a congregation favorite. I, I think the, the big question is, where is Mike Mitchell now? Head of production, Russell Williams. So, Carolina, Jim, how did this? How did this? I'm I'm really confused. Where is Mike Mitchell? Did you get any memos about this tonight? I was just in the in the back trying to find out. Nobody seems to know. He never showed up. It looks like John the Man Moran is gonna try to win the tag titles on his own. I mean, that's that's courageous, but one that might be might be dumb. I mean, John Moran saying there's one in and one out, and he's there. All he's gotta do is keep the ring cut off. Maybe John Moran should get Killian McMurphy. He seems to have Eric Lebanon's number. Give somebody a call on the back. Kelly McMurphy at least wears green. That's kind of his thing. I think Johnny Moran's hoping that Mint Mike Mitchell might still show up. Well, there was a snowstorm tonight, but usually tag teams travel together. I don't. Hold on, I'm gonna. I'll see here. The Mighty Militia's merchandise made it. I'm Johnny getting, Moran made it. I don't know what happened with Mint Mike. I'm getting Mitchell. told in my ear here that Mint Mike Mitchell has a. A, a, a very bad flu. Sinus infection. 
a sinus infection, was it? I, I heard it was a flu. And, and Sonny has something going on as well. It's, well, this is WWE, not good news. WWE Hall of Famer Sonny, or are we talking about Sonny Kiss? No, no, well, Sonny, WWE Hall of Famer Sonny, we know has a couple of things. But now, Sonny Kiss, I believe, has a, a head cold. Ooh, the stiff shot, stiff shot, stiff shot to the belly. John Moran, I, I don't know, I don't know why he'd try to do this. I mean, the IndyCard Mafia, either one of these guys, Eric Evanon or Thomas Brewington, are hell of singles competitors on any day. I mean, the only good thing is, is that Eric Evanon already had a match tonight. There are plenty of stunt fighters that would be happy to get a tag title match here. Ah, see, Johnny you Moran know what? I'm worried about John alone. Moran. His shoes turn blue. I think he's getting scared. Is that, that what that means? It might be. Is it like a mood ring, his shoes? I'll tell you what. If they go his red, we'll know. just turned into a real bad mood right there. Uh oh, now we're two kids. different colors. Oh, man. The congregation kids love Johnny Moran. Completely improper headlock takeover by John Moran. Johnny's working it down there. But no pinfall, no shoulders down. Sorry, we got pulled away over in the production there. John the Man Moran with a drop kick to the gut. Ooh! Big stiff shot in the corner. You gotta give you, gotta give Johnny Moran credit here. He's actually hanging on pretty well considering he's taking on two men at once. And you got Mirage at ringside. See, now this gets dangerous. This is a real problem now. You got both of them time to recoup, both of them time to recover. Johnny Moran can't tag out to anybody. Smart move by the IndyCard Mafia, divide and conquer. We got three uh, look, at, one. look at Eric Eminon in the corner. Look at him. Reaching out for a tag as if he's his partner. You hear the congregation kids though, they're coming up behind Johnny the Man Moran. Oh, big European. This is when it gets dangerous though, because right now you actually have two adult fit men double teaming a man without a partner. A man who right now does not even have a plan, I'm sure. Two count. I mean, you gotta give it to Johnny Moran for having the courage to come out here, but you gotta ask, is it, is it worth the damage? Oh, look at, look at, look what Eric Eminon's doing. Look at him. Just toying with Johnny Moran. Cutting him off from the tag he never could have made. Trying to get in the head of the man Johnny Moran. Oh, 
lighten him up with the chop. That turned his boot off. Eric Eminon is talking a whole lot of trash in there. Receipts his clothesline. Oh, there we go! Johnny Moret, smart move, knock him off the apron. Get him down, get him! Take your advantage! Oh, man! Johnny Moran was not quick enough to take advantage of that situation. Foot on the rope. This is not a good position, though, again, for Johnny Moran. Here comes the congregation. Starting a Johnny Moran chant again. Might be a little too, little too late. And the Card Mafia with the quick tags, keeping that fresh person in the ring. Well, <laughs> they have the advantage of keeping the fresh member of the team in the ring. Oh! Short arm close Johnny line. Moran. You know, it's like they're tenderizing the meat before they're ready to cook the goose. And I gotta tell you, Johnny Moran's goose may just be cooked. Picking him up, dragging him up. I think Johnny Moran's out. Oh, Ducks wait. it! Big form! Cover him! Hook the leg! Hook the leg! Hook the leg. One, two, new! Oh! That's the problem with having the 16-foot stunt staging there. Smart if, ring presence by if, Thomas Brewington. If it would have been a 20-footer, he might have had him. Johnny almost instinctually going to his corner for his tag. Eric Eminon tugging. Can Johnny even see where he's... Oh, and another clothesline down. And another clothesline down. It's like Eric's coming in for his own hot tag here, but unfortunately, Johnny's got nobody to tag to. He's just getting beat down, getting beat in the corner. No, it wasn't over last time. That's how he lost to Killian McMurphy. Finish! It's over, Carolina! Cover him, cover him, cover him! Oh, he's going the wrong direction. If he covers him, he can win the tag titles by himself. Mirage is beside herself. Cover him! The congregation's coming alive! Roll your arm over, damn it! Damn it! Oh, no. and he's slide into the outside and onto the floor. Oh, oh, the one chance. The one chance I think Johnny Moran had. Hitting his signature, DDT. Oh, he's got, he's still got him. He's still got him. Oh, God, oh, no, that's God the hardest a hair part. Piece. That is the hardest part of the stunt staging you can fall onto. That can knock the wind right out of you. Oh, no, oh, no. Oh, that might be it, Trotsky. That is, that is over. This is elementary. One, two, three. Oh, wait. They're not Did done yet. Oh. I think Ebonon wants to dish out some more punishment. Are you kidding me? They're not done yet. This is not necessary. This is wrong. Thomas Brewington, tug in. Johnny Moran better do something, and he better do it now. That and I think it's going to be, gonna be lose. Oh, wait a minute. Are these two just getting their shit in? I mean, that really seems what it's like at this point, Carolina. That has Senton to be it. bomb. Two, three. Mercifully. Mercifully, this one is over.
the still, the sanctuary. Are they? Are they stealing his shoes? They're trying to steal his shoes. These thugs are trying to steal his shoes. What kind of crap is this? Where did we get the Detroit? They're stealing his shoes. Well, I guess they're getting at least one of them. Not the angry one. That's the angry one. This is wrong. Man Johnny Moran fought a valiant battle. But tonight he's going home with no belts and apparently only one shoe. I don't think they sell single shoes either. Like he's gonna have to buy a whole new pair. That's a Who steals a shoe? I mean, I'm really, I think that that's the, my thing is here. Johnny Moran, again, not winning the tag titles, but again, who steals shoes? This is, this is the Sanctuary Stunt Studio. They, they literally stole his shoe. Where did you king at? And you can't just go and buy one other 